Hi guys, Ariel Kimmy Girls, it's Elena from Greece again and this time I'm going to show you how to make a very 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 funny top hat and in a headband. So, uh, what I'm going to use is all my very nice parts from the kits of Gosh Alchemy. You can find Gosh Alchemy at goshalchemy.wordpress.com uh, and in their Art Fire shop. And uh, let's start. I'm going to be using a very nice piece of fabric that I received in my monthly kit. Uh, plus the hot pink mixed media parts kit. It's an accumulation of very cute things, small buttons, ribbons, everything in, in hot pink actually. Um, and it's gonna be fun. So, what you're gonna need is a headband. I'm gonna be using two because they're pretty thin, the ones that I'm gonna be using. A piece of fabric, a plastic cap, and a cardboard. Uh, let's start. First of all, you need two circles with the same diameter as the big, uh, as the open part of your cap. So you're just going to make a circle with your pencil in your cardboard and cut it out. Now you need to cover, you're going to make two of those, you need to cover them with a choice of uh, fabric of your choice because these are going to be the top hat and the bottom part of it. So I'm going to be using some uh, lace, it was white lace and I have glimmer misted and it's now pink. And let me show you what you can do. You put it in the piece of fabric you want to uh, glue it on. I'm actually going to glue it with my hot gun, hot glue gun. I'm just putting a dab of hot glue in here, pressing it down where I want it to be. Then I'm going to cut around with my scissors. I'm going to leave um, like a half inch, maybe one inch around my circle. Now the tricky part is that uh, I have to glue all these um, ends, the lace ends, inside. So, I so because what I want to make is something like that that I have already done it for the first one. So I'm going to be using a hot glue gun, and I'm with the help of my pencil, I'm going to tuck the ends in because I don't want to burn my fingertips. So just put some hot glue on a part of your circle. We're going to do it part by part because it's better for you to control it and the hot glue doesn't dry up. And I'm using my pencil to roll in the edges. So I'm going to do the other quarter of the circle, putting some hot glue on and again pressing down the edges with the help of a pencil. You can even do it with a stick, a bamboo stick or a skewer, or you can even do it with your hand. You're just gonna get hot, <laughs> like the hot pink I'm gonna be using. So, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to glue it on this side and then tuck the ends in. I don't care that it, they look like that because it, they're not gonna show. So let's take, um, let's continue with the main part. We're taking just a plastic cup. You can use any kind of cup you want. You can even use a paper cup or a shorter one, a larger one. You can play with that. Uh, what I need is to stuff it with some paper so it can be sturdy. I'm just going to scrunch a piece of white paper in. I'm just stuffing it because I want this to be the body of my cap, of my hat. And I'm going to take the cute, cute, cute fabric that I found in my mixed media kit, as I told you. And I'm going to start gluing it all over. I'm going to leave an edge of uh, about an inch in each side because I want it to fold afterwards to cover the end. So I'm just going to put some hot glue here in one side of my cup. Press it down. So this can be the beginning of my covering it up. <laughs> and now I'm going to take this part that has the, the paper on, oops, sorry, 
and I'm gonna put some at, at the edge I'm gonna put some hot glue at the edge of the fabric and then I'm gonna roll it I don't want to burn my fingers I'm just gonna glue it down and then I'm gonna do the same actually I'm gonna put some hot glue here now to glue the other edge of the fabric just like that it doesn't have to be straight you don't have to worry about the edges because everything is gonna cover up just wanna have my round uh, plastic cup nothing else don't worry about details until now okay so now I'm gonna cut the part of the fabric that is overlapping the other part So I'm going to have something like that and I'm going to use some extra hot glue gun. Uh, you can actually use special, um, like the beacon adhesives, adhesive, sorry, it's the glue for fabric. You can use that too, but uh, hot glue is much faster. <laughs> so, we're going to need to cover the edges at the top of our cap and at the bottom. We're going to do it part by part again because it's much easier I'm gonna put some hot glue on a quarter on the quarter of my cup at the inside part and now I'm gonna tuck in the edges of my fabric I will continue to do so at the rest of my cup you see that's why I didn't care if the edges are showing or if they're uneven Ooh. You don't actually care about that because nothing shows. So I'm gonna do the same thing here and at the bottom. Voila! It's ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these uh, tops and bottom of the hat on it, in its place. Uh, I'm gonna put some hot glue in the rim of the cup. This time all around because it's all gonna happen at once. And I'm gonna tack one of my tops of the same size at the top. I'll make sure it gets very good glued down. And now I'm going to do the same for the bottom and this time the part of with the fabric is going to be on top and not on the bottom because you want it to show. So this time I'm going to put some hot glue gun down at the bottom of the cup and all around my fabric you see, it doesn't matter how you have tucked it in because it's not going to show. And then I'm going to glue it down at the center oops, of my other part. So The base, the skeleton of my, my kit top hat is ready. What I'm going to need now is to decorate it. And my hot pink media kit is for this reason. Um, yum, yum, yum. Yep, I'm going to be using this and then, oh, I found this very nice. So, let's put some hot glue gun somewhere in the middle. I like to improvise and put things wherever I want them at the same time. I'm going to be using this very nice part which is all glittery with some uh, silver lace. And I'm going to put some hot glue gun again, hot glue on top. Glue it down, and then let's see what else I have here. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it even has a flower, like a yo-yo flower. Yeah, I'm going to use that too. I'm going to put again some glue, press it down, and then, yep. How about... Oh my god, I want to use everything. <laughs> and it's a crazy top hat, that's what you need it for. To feel crazy, to feel free, to wear it and just have fun. I'm gonna put a simple flower there, at the center of my yo-yo flower. And my top hat is ready and all I have to do is glue it down to my headbands. I'm gonna be using two, two smaller ones, because I need some more balance for my top hat. But if you want, if you have one thicker one, then that's enough. 
Uh, if you have a plastic headband, then you really need to uh, wrap it around with a ribbon so that uh, your top hat can glue it down. Otherwise, it's if you do it with a hot glue gun, uh, then it's gonna fall off very easily. Uh, of course, I don't want it on the top of my, of my head. I want it a little bit tilting. So I'm gonna calculate where I want it to be. It's approximately on the um, off-centered, not centered, like uh, one-third towards the end from the center. And I'm gonna use again my hot glue, put a generous amount underneath, and place symmetrically my headbands and hold them still until they are dry. Make sure the pattern is on the correct side of your of where you're gluing your headbands. You don't want to be gluing them vertically. It's not going to be fun. So we're just going to wait until the glue dries up. Isn't it fun? It's ready. It's all dried up. And I'm just going to wear it. So could you ever thought that you can recycle your plastic cups and use them as your top hat to have fun in Halloween or even in your house or in a party? And all you need to have is a piece of fabric, a cup, and a fantastic Gosh Alchemy kit. So, uh, visit the Gosh Alchemy blog for more ideas, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!